Chief of Punishment for Violation of Construction and Building Codes in the country in a bid to contain the growing cases of collapsed buildings. The Senate resolution was reached in Abuja as senators debated a matter of urgent public importance on the collapse of Saint Academy in Jos Plateau State. The school, which collapsed on July 12, claimed the lives of 22 students and members of staff, while over 100 others sustained varying injuries or degrees of injuries. Senator Dickhead Plang, who moved the motion, recalled how the sad incident altered the lives of many parents, families, and the government of the state. Of Sen Academy School, Busabuji, in just not local government area, one of the local government areas of Plateau North Senatorial District collapsed, thereby killing not less than 24 students and staff members, while more than 100 Victims were rescued from the debris and at, from the debris with bodily injuries of virus degrees. Senate notes with utmost sadness that it was a depressing sightseeing as healthy and agile children who left home to write their examinations in the said school were unfortunately returned to their parents as dead bodies. Senate notes further that this ugly incident of building collapse had been a recurrent decimal in Nigeria as a result of poor workmanship, substandard building material. In their contributions to the motion concerned, lawmakers suggested drastic actions against building collapse. Collapse. The architects that supervise the construction of that building, the building engineers that supervise the building should be brought to book. Probably this is the only way we can stop this from happening. Uh, Mr. President, we have to save lives, of, lives and properties of people. Uh, millions of Naira have been lost, and hundreds of lives of people have perished because of uh, negligence, professional negligence of some individuals. Mr. President, we should punish those individuals. So in, support, in supporting this motion, I urge some nationals. But what we can do as a national parliament that regulate the various uh, institutions is to see what we can do to tinker with the law such that if you design a building and you are obliged to supervise the construction, should the building collapse within a certain number of years, you are liable not only to withdraw your license, you are liable to prosecution. Before we talk about the integrity tests on the materials that we use for the construction of these buildings, very sadly, these things are never followed again. Yesterday, I saw on television the rubbles of this particular building in Joss that collapsed and killed these children. I wept because even the columns were irregular showing that there was no supervision at all. Nobody supervised the erection of these buildings. No talk about checking the concrete tests to ensure that the concrete so used and the reinforcements were to specifications and standards. So what we are witnessing here is that people who are employed to render these services, both in the approving authorities and in the construction and the supervision, they have abandoned their duties. And when people are killed, nobody is shown to have been humiliated or punished for professional negligence. In his remarks, President of the Senate, Gatswila Kwabio, also condoled with the families of the deceased students and members of staff, government, and people of Plateau over the collapse of St. Academy building in Jaws. In addition to observing a minute silence in honor of the dead and lawmakers, urged the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to send relief to them, also calling on the federal government agencies to mobilize to JOS to offer medical care to the victims. You've taken uh, yeah, one by one, the identities of the children would definitely include an Igbo man, because it's very sure that the Igbos have spare parts industries in, uh, in Plateau State. And, uh, and the children will, uh, uh, their children will want to go to school. So I want us to condole with all Nigerians 
sympathize with the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and all Nigerians over the tragic incidents in Jos, not limited to Plateau Sierra Leone, but to the whole nation. And pray that God will uh, accept the souls of these children and then condole the families. And at the same time, uh, we must also, as the Senate, take measures to ensure that we enforce these resolutions to avoid further loss of lives through building collapse in Nigeria. This is one incident too many. May we now rise for one minute silence in honor. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.